Today, we're gonna have a full-blown deathmatch between the cheapest gaming-branded Amazon crap build and a little concoction of my own. So the challenge for today's video is to build a better $390 system than that Amazon crap build. Although I think challenge may be a bit of a strong word, because considering the specs of that crap build, this is probably going to be one of the easier things I've ever done. I just want to clarify for this video that there isn't actually going to be a build guide section to this video. That build guide will be released on Wednesday. I've already filmed it. I think that's going to be really awesome. But I didn't want to put like a 10 to 12 minute section of how to build a computer in this video because all of you may not be interested in that. And that way we can do more in-depth tests about how well the two systems scale with potential upgrades and things like that. And then finally, before we get into the specs list, I also want to say that because we have a $390 budget for the system, there are a bunch of ways that you can go about specking up this PC. You could go the maximized performance short term route, but sacrifice on things like motherboard quality, power supply quality, and maybe even RAM amount. Or you could go the knife battle people on Craigslist for a second hand Dell Optiplex route. You just drop a graphics card in there and then you'll get great gaming performance. In fact, I think that's the route that gets you the best gaming performance, although you do sacrifice future upgradability. And then there's the more boring way to go about it, <laughs> which is using an AMD APU, but spending more money to get a better power supply, a better motherboard, and maybe even 16 gigs of RAM. Now, the problem with this route is that you do sacrifice short-term performance, but getting a nice base system, I think is really important at this budget so that you can kind of scale nicely over time with upgrades. So with that, let's get into the boring system specs that I got for this video. Now, I did buy all of these components at a local shop because, you know, hashtag support local businesses. I can't believe I just did the hashtag with my fingers there. But what this means is that I had a more limited selection when it comes to especially motherboards. So the parts list that I have linked in the description below is actually slightly different to the components that I'm using, but it'll have the exact same performance because it's the same RAM, the same APU and so on and so forth. Now, when it comes to the CPU slash graphics card, I'm using the AMD Ryzen 3 3200G. Again, many of you have probably fallen asleep just by hearing me mention that name, uh, but it's a really good little APU and it's going to perform significantly better than what the little crap build was packing. Motherboard wise, I actually ended up getting an Asus B450 Tough Gaming Pro. Now this is a much more expensive motherboard than you should buy at this budget. But again, this was the only option I really had for my, for my local shop and it's not gonna affect gaming performance. RAM wise, I could actually squeeze 16 gigs of DDR4 3000 megahertz in here. Now going with 16 gig over eight gig is very important when you're using an APU because the graphics card section of the APU uses some of your RAM. And if you only have eight gigs of RAM, yeah, there's not much to go around. And the extra speed helps a lot as well. In regards to storage, I'm using a 240 gig SSD, which is gonna really help speed up the day-to-day -day usability of the system. <laughs> I really love SSDs. Mm. Power supply wise, this is another thing that you should never ever cheap out on in my opinion. And that's something where the crap build cheaped out hard. Uh, but we're using an EVGA uh, BR500 which is a really nice budget option. It's a 500 watt, uh, 80 plus bronze rated power supply. And what I really like about this power supply is that it doesn't have ketchup and mustard cables and it will easily be able to handle a nice GPU upgrade. And then finally, the case that I got for this build um, is, is a bit controversial because it may or may not end up in the final product, but it's a deep cool matrix 30, which yeah, we'll, we'll get into that, that one a bit later. I'm a bit, I'm a bit salty about that case. And with that very predictable parts list out of the way, let's do a quick 80s themed build montage, have a chat about how the build went, and then we can get into the death match arena of death.
And just like that, we finished our competitor to the Amazon crap build. And I think it looks really good. Although the eagle-eyed of you probably would have noticed that this case isn't the exact same one that we started off with in the video. But that little deep cool case really sucks. Uh, so I decided to go with this Thermaltake H17, which is uh, the same cost as the Cooler Master case that I've linked in the description of this video. So it's not a fancier case, it's still a very budget-oriented case. I really like this Thermaltake H17, although the front airflow on it is really terrible. It's fine if you have only the APU in there, but the moment that you upgrade and put a dedicated graphics card in there, it just can't handle the heat. So if you want a case that looks like this, I would recommend going for the H18 version, which has a perforated front, and it should have way better thermals. Now we need to size up the two competitors and see how they compare on paper before having a look at the benchmarks. Now interestingly enough, there are actually two categories in which our brand new system actually is worse than the crap build. Now the first one is in the amount of storage. Because I went for a 240 gig boot SSD in the system, uh, we actually have a lot less storage space than the three terabyte hard drive in the crap build. The next category where the crap build wins is that it actually has a DVD drive, which, which our system doesn't. In fact, this case doesn't even have a space for a DVD drive. Although, in pretty much every other category, this little system that we built is significantly better than the crap build. When it comes to power supplies, the crap build had a terrible 450 watt power supply of PC death in it, whereas here we have a 500 watt 80 plus bronze rated power supply with some nice looking cables. We have twice the amount of RAM, which for an APU based system is really important. And then when it comes to the APU, we have a massive upgrade as well. We still don't have a dedicated graphics card because of the route that we went for this build, you know, favoring future upgradability. But the 3200G is significantly more powerful than that 9600 in, in the little crap build. And then motherboard wise, we actually upgraded a lot as well. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I did accidentally buy a more expensive motherboard. Uh, but if you go with the motherboard that I listed in the description below, that is still a huge upgrade. And then of course, there's the fact that we have an SSD as opposed to a normal hard drive. So, you know, our operating system response is gonna be a lot faster and games are hopefully gonna load faster as well. And finally, we're at the moment of truth. How much better does this system compare to the little crap build? And as you can tell, it was a little bit like reenacting the song. This PC absolutely obliterates the little crap build. In some cases, it was between three and four times as fast. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was going to be faster, right? But because we were going the sacrificing short-term performance route, I didn't realize it was going to be this much faster than the little crap build. The difference between the two, with this system, it's a little bit like trying to game on like a PC at your local library, whereas this is like a decent gaming experience. It's just so much better. And then, because of the SSD and the faster CPU, not only does this PC vomit in the crap build's face when it comes to gaming performance, but just general desktop usability is also significantly faster. Things like installing all of those damn game launchers that you need these days, like Uplay and Rockstar's crap, all of that stuff takes so long to do on, on this little PC, whereas it's nice and snappy on, on our beast. But now, let's see how differently these two systems scale with a graphics card upgrade. So what I'm going to do is drop an AMD RX 570 into both of these systems and see how differently they perform with the same graphics card in there. This 
as you can see, it performs way better than this system with a graphics card in. In fact, in some use cases, this system with the RX 570 is actually slower than this system without the RX 570 in it, which I find pretty hilarious. And then again, aside from just the straight out gaming performance, because we have a good power supply in here, we could just drop that graphics card straight in. But the power supply that comes with this system is so terrible that A, I just flat out refuse to ever use it in a PC again because I didn't want to burn my house to the ground. And B, it didn't actually have supplemental power for a graphics card. So even if you wanted to, you couldn't upgrade a graphics card with that power supply in it without having to also upgrade the power supply we can see that it wasn't really a death match. It was more like pitting a full grown polar bear against a KFC battery chicken. It just really wasn't ever gonna work out for the little KFC battery chicken, was it? With that, subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss the, the build guide where I walk you through how to build this nifty little PC by yourself. That video will be coming out on Wednesday. I'll also have a couple of videos linked in the description below where other tech YouTubers did videos on different approaches that you can take to the roughly $390 budget PC. One of them is by Toasty Bros and the other one is by Zach's Tech Turf. So if you're interested in various options in this price point, go and check out those videos. Uh, check out my Twitter Twitch stream, which will be happening later today. I'll have that linked in the description below as well. I have a bunch of social media down there as well. And yeah, until the next video, bye-bye.